Hi guys, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Actions, and today I'm going to take you through the steps that I took to complete an edit from start to finish and just kind of open up some of these um, more extensive actions that I played, lavish and dull to dazzling, and show you how I customize the insides of these actions. And this image comes to us from Melody White Studios and it's a beautiful straight out of camera image. If you like a very clean and delicate edit, you could take this straight out of camera image, play something like Dull to Dazzling, don't make any major changes to it, or something like Blind to Brilliant, both of those are in the Creative Heart sets, and be done. Just gives you a little bit of pop to the picture and you'd be finished. But we're gonna go a little bit more dramatic and deeper into this edit and make it a little richer and a little bit more artistic. So starting with um, the first action that I ran is called Lavish and this is again in the Creative Heart set and I'm going to just turn the visibility on of this. Now I've already run it. You can see if you look at the layer mask here that I've actually um, taken some of this effect off of her uh, in a couple of places with just brushing over it with a black brush if I uh, temporarily disable that. You can just barely see, and I bet you won't see too much of it in the video, um, where I've removed it. Basically taking some of this lavish effect off of her cheeks and her arms so that she has a little bit darker cheek color and a little bit darker um, in other places. So opening up lavish, once you play lavish, it's going to give you a stop message and tell you to just take a black brush and um, run it over the skin or anywhere where it's too dark uh, on the matte haze layer. And the matte haze layer will be selected for you. If I hadn't removed any of this matte haze off of her, this is how Lavish would play. And of course her eyes and her hair got too dark and her face got too dark. So just taking that soft opacity um, brush, I just brush some of that off of there. Now of course uh, you could leave some extra on, you could take more off, it's completely up to you how you adjust this. So Lavish left us from this point to this point, just a little bit of pop into the picture and that could be a beautiful finished edit. One action, a little bit of brushing and you could be totally done. But I took it another step further and I played Dull to Dazzling and let's see, I, I also masked on this one as well. So um, a couple of these spots in here, I guess if we turn it on and off, you'll see that the darkness came into her arm. Um, I took some of that darkness out and I took some of the darkness that was up in here and her face out. So let's open this up and see where the real magic happened because again, here's with Lavish and here's with Delta Dazzling. Now there's a lot of options inside of Delta Dazzling for what you can achieve. And I customize this quite a bit actually. So I'm gonna turn off these airy haze layers and you can see I actually made a copy. I took the airy haze layer that was in here and I duplicated it to make it twice as hazy. And I'm gonna turn those off. So if you don't have any airy haze on, which it defaults to have that off, um, we have some severe richness, some really intense richness in this picture. Um, and then going down even further, you can see the dull, or I'm sorry, the dazzling dark layer I have customized a little bit. First of all, I turned it on. It was, it, it uh, plays with it off and I turned it on and I amped up the opacity of this up to 93%, so it really darkened the picture. So if we turn this dark off, you can see how much lighter the picture gets. So turning it on, I basically wanted to darken everything but not get her skin too dark. So I went ahead and used the mask there and removed some of this off of her skin just using a black brush there. And the other thing that I did was I turned the warmth layer off. If we turn the warm layer on and I were to turn that all the way up, it would get very, very warm with yellow tones. So again, going back up to the airy haze layer, I had turned that layer on and it's turned all the way up to 100% opacity and then I wanted more haze to the picture so I just duplicated this layer and it's just command or control J on the keyboard that will duplicate your layer and it made twice as much haze and on this uh, particular copy layer I only had the opacity to about 43% so once those um, options are on of course click the eyeballs of the other layers on and off if you need some light in there you can turn on the dazzling light layer 
Um, again, if you wanted warmth in there, if you wanted to get the spotlight off, I turn that off and you can see her eye or her skin gets really dark and the spotlight just kind of creates like a little bit of a vignette around the edges and brightens up the center part. So that's a nice effect on this particular picture. So again, looking at this dull to dazzling off and on, this is where most of the drama came into the picture. Oh, one last thing actually on the first layer in dull to dazzling called dazzling richness. Um, you probably won't be able to see it too well, but I did take um, a black brush and I masked this off of her eyes. And um, if we click this on and off, look at her eyes. You can see they're dark. And then when I masked it off, it lightened up her eyes. So if I see a particular uh, part of the picture that I just feel is uh, too dark or too bright, I'll click the eyeballs or the visibilities of these different layers on and off to see which layer is causing that. And then once I found that it was this dazzling richness layer, I went ahead and masked it off the eyes. So let's close this action grouping down. And again, we go back to the beginning here. If I can click it correctly, geez. Um, and then we click on the lavish, and then we click on the dull to dazzling. There's where we end. I Excitement is the next action that I played. This is in the Heart and Soul collection, and this is in the digital makeup set there. And I Excitement, I just went ahead and added it to her eyes just a little bit using a white brush. I masked it in just to bring some pop back into her eyes. This works really well for blue and green eyed people. And then we could be finished here. This is a really beautiful, um, kind of more dramatic edit, but I like to experiment with tones, and the two tones that I picked were Mulberry and Cosmic Ray. And again, optional, but playing Mulberry, I went ahead and played the whole thing and left the opacity of that Mulberry at 60% and just used a soft, low opacity black brush to remove some of this Mulberry off of her skin. If I had left it everywhere, here's what Mulberry looks like on her skin. It's not so pretty, but it's a nice effect around the edges of the picture to give an artistic sort of tone. And then if we turn that off and we turn on Cosmic Ray, this put some blue tones into the edges. Again, I masked it off her skin. And if we combine them together, there's a combination that might be um, artistic and pretty in your opinion. And those are two that work really well together. So again, if we have no tones, here's where we end the picture and adding in the tones. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You can find out more about the Michelle Kane actions at my website michellecanephotography.com. Thanks for watching everybody and have a blessed day.